Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been quite a few months since I've been missing in action. Um, I really have been busy at work lately and um, didn't have enough time to focus on my YouTube channel as much as I really wanted to. But I've been looking through the comments of the videos that I uploaded in regards to the Alienware um, computer and mouse that I did and it looks like some of you have been requesting for me to do a video on how to remap the buttons on the mouse, the Alienware mouse. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. Before we jump right into the video, I wanted to thank all of my subscribers who stayed with me even though I didn't upload much content in the last few months. I also wanted to let you guys know that the Alienware Command Center is only available on the Alienware series computer. So we tried remapping the mouse, the Alienware mouse that I have on my husband's computer. He has a Windows system, but I don't know exactly which computer he has, but he tried downloading the Alienware Command Center and that did not work for him. It only works on the Alienware series. And I did a little bit of research and he did a little bit of research online and it seems like as of this moment, um, you can only download the Alienware Command Center and have it work on the Alienware series. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments down below. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go into your search menu and type in Alienware. Once you start typing it in, the first thing that should come up is the Alienware Command Center. You want to go ahead and open up that app. You want to go in and change the active default theme. So click the little edit icon. At the top right, you will see your laptop and the mouse as little icons. You want to click on the mouse icon. Now you're in the mouse settings. This is where you can change the color of the mouse um, itself and the way it acts in regards to its color. So you can do breathing, you can choose color spectrums, you can um, go ahead and do the color wave, which is what I like it on. Since this video is mainly about changing the commands on your buttons. Um, you want to go into the macros, the macro settings. You have all of your macros or you have separate macros like my macros, disable button, left click, um, paste, right click. I already put paste on mouse button three, mouse button five. Um, not mouse button 3, mouse button 3 is the wheel, um, mouse button 5. Now I'm going to go ahead and put copy as the command for my button 4. So you want to go ahead and create new macro and again this can be any, any setting that you want it to be. I'm just using copy and paste because that's the first thing that came to mind. So I'm going to name my macro copy hit some keys so the command for copy is control plus C so we're gonna do that at the same time so control plus C um, repeat options I'm gonna set it to none and I'm gonna go ahead and save I'm gonna save it to my macros and then at the very bottom over here, I know it's hard to see, but it says save theme. You want to make sure you go in and save the theme. Otherwise, none of the modifications that you did will show up. So I'm going to save the theme. Exit out of this window. And we said we want to put it on mouse button 4. 
Now you see in your macros, they're in alphabetical order, copy comes up. You want to go ahead and just drag over copy onto the um, button that where you want copy to be. And then again, save theme. So now I'm just going to go into my browser and I'm just going to type in Alienware and say you want to copy and paste this line. I'm going to go ahead and select this line. Now I'm going to hit mouse button 4. I'm going to open a new tab, hit mouse button 5. And there it is. We copy and pasted using the buttons. And of course, you can remap this to whichever setting you want. If you want to switch them around, um, you can just go in and reset all keys. I'm going to click yes, reset all keys, and say you didn't like that copy was on this button, you want copy on this button, you can go ahead and put copy, and paste, and then save the theme, and there you have it. Okay, so one more thing that I forgot to mention is you can also remap the buttons to your lefty. You can switch the functionality of the button number one and button number two. Um, all you have to do is click the edit symbol again, go under your mouse. You're going to want to go into settings instead of macros and you're going to want to switch primary and secondary buttons. I am not going to do that because um, I personally don't need that for my functionality but in case you need to switch your primary and secondary buttons places you can do that here. And again you'll want to click save theme otherwise it will not take any of the changes that you made. And then another fun thing is if you really want to add additional controls to your buttons. Say you don't want your um, button number one and button number two to be right and left click. You want to add completely different functionality to it. You'd only be able to do that in a separate theme. So you would have to create a separate theme in order to do that. You want to go out. It's going to ask you to create a new theme. You're going to click create new theme. We're just going to call it test. And you want to make sure you're under the mouse. So under the mouse, again, you can change whatever lighting you want. And then you can remap your macros. So under this theme, you don't have to um, put copy and paste just here or whatever functionality you want just on the um, button number four or button number five. You can completely switch it up. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you would like me to do another how-to video. I hope you have a good day.